right, y'all, we have made it to Oaxaca, Mexico, and we just got dropped off at our Airbnb. So I'm gonna look at the pictures and find out exactly which one of these it is. Um, but we have to be close. Look at this. All right, guys, we made it to the Airbnb and I am pretty beat. Pretty beat from that day of traveling. But um, I found in my suitcase, I had a little clip bar, so that's my dinner tonight. Mmm, never tasted so good. And we have some Takis from the airport. My nutritious dinner. I'm gonna show you guys the whole tour of this place tomorrow. And then um, I'm gonna take you in the town. We're gonna find a couple good uh, spots to get groceries, a coffee spot, and we're going to have about four Spanish classes tomorrow. And you might ask, well, why would you take Spanish classes if you're in Mexico? Valid question. I'm going to do both. Ambos. So when I go in the real world and apply what I learn in the classes, that <clears throat> then any questions that come up, I can just write them down and then I can go straight to my teachers the next session and uh, get those questions answered. Oh my God. Yes, it feels good to have made it. Because now I can stay here for six months if I want to. The options are endless guys. But I'll check back in tomorrow and we will catch back up then. Sure. All right, y'all, first day in Oaxaca, and we are on the search for a few bottles of water and some coffee, so check in at the coffee shop. Alright, had a delicious taco for breakfast, and now we are on our way to the farmer's market to get some supplies for the house. I think I'm going to get some bottles of water, some coffee, uh, miscellaneous vegetables, and maybe we'll go to the carniceria. So, hasta pronto! Okay, so I bought some chapolinas, some fried up crickets, so 
ya veremos que es. Voy a probarlo. Ah, estoy emocionado. Oh my god. And I bought some of this. Oh. The grasshoppers. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh god. It's salty. Demasiado sal. Mucho sal. Oh, I don't know about that, guys. Whatever, it was like 20 pesos. Oh. Oh. Yeah, not that good. But. I got to speak a lot of Spanish to that woman. So I'm going to try and find a way to record more as I'm speaking. Um, but I'm just getting the hang of it in this market. But as you can see, it's pretty fucking cool. So we're going to keep exploring. Hola, amigo. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Estoy aprendiendo español. Ah, ok. ¿De dónde? Entonces, uh, yo vivo en los Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. Um, Pero llevo aprendiendo español por cuatro meses, cuatro o cinco meses. Ah, pero ya más o menos le habla usted, ¿eh? Sí, sí, por, uh, porque uh, yo, tengo, yo tengo maestros en español. Ah, sí, sí. Dice sí. sí. sí, nada más hacia la plancha, se voltea, una, dos, tres y ya está. Entiendo. Sí, voy a regresar. Okay. Sí, sí. Wow. Estoy hablando con la gente aquí. Hola, hola. Sí, championes. Delicioso, gracias. Ah, qué sí, bueno, gracias. Qué Mi canal de YouTube. Ah, qué bueno. Oh, hola. Sí. Qué bueno. Wow. And your boy got meat. Yo tengo carne. Yo tengo carne. Wow. Me gusta este lugar. Es muy interesante. Las personas son muy simpáticos. Ay, ah, el sol. Mm, es bueno para mi cuerpo. Wow. Yeah, I gotta find a better way to record me speaking to people because I just had a cool conversation with these women at the carniceria and your boy's about to cook some arias. Agua. That's what I found is a good way to continue the conversation so it's not just like, me das, you know, dos botellas de agua. You let them know, you say, estoy aprendiendo español. You know, I'm learning Spanish. And then it opens up a whole other conversation. You know, where are you from? What are you doing here? How long have you been here? And then you go back in your memory through all the classes you've taken. And uh, I can see me learning very quickly being here. So estoy muy emocionado. But I got water and I got meat. Now I gotta find some argon oil to uh, put in my face. I'm feeling a bit dry out here. But I think we're going to drop some of this stuff off at the house and then pick up a little cashola and go to the guitar store as well. <sighs> I'm grateful. I'm grateful. This is cool. I'm going to try and find my house without the map. I walk quite a bit, but I could use another coffee. Cafe Frio. But yeah, you say, estoy aprendiendo. Maybe like, y es por eso estoy aquí. And that's why I'm here. Because it kind of is. To learn Spanish. And I got to speak to a couple of women at the carniceria and buy my meat. And they gave me a number of a guitar seller. So we're going to go check that place out. And yeah, I'll check back in. En la mañana, 
Ajá, en la mañana estamos de 9 a 11. Sí. Eh, en las mañanas. En las tardes estamos de 5 a 7. 5 a 7. Viene mucha gente. Sí. Ya si quieres venir en las noches, estamos de 9 a 10. Ah, ¿y uh, cuánto es? Eh, la... Oh, we are really out here, y'all. We got some café frío. Ooh. And apparently that guy, his dad makes this coffee, like grows the beans and everything in Oaxaca, so. That's pretty cool. So I'm definitely gonna find the apartment and maybe take a Spanish class. And uh, yeah, I'll check back in there. Yes. Um, en el mundo? Sí. En sí. el mundo? Sí. Y de hecho, de hecho, voy a una tienda de guitarra sí. uh, después de esta clase. ¡Wow! ¡Qué divertido! Sí, necesito un, una guitarra aquí. Mm, vas a comprarte una guitarra. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Eléctrica o criolla? Cri ¿Criolla? ¿Es acústica? Yeah. Oh, ¿Puedes escribir esta palabra? Sí. Criolla. Guitarra crio, criocha. Criolla. Criolla. Uh -huh. Criolla. Criocha. Oh, gracias. Muy útil para mi vida. Sí. Eh, sí, son, no decimos acústicas, decimos criollas acá. Mm. Guitarra uh -huh. criolla. Sí, criolla. ¿Hace mucho tiempo que sos músico? Mm. Llevo tocando. Ah, llevo to tocando, sí. Yes, yes, you're perfect. Y I will correct you, don't worry. Okay, gracias. Llevo tocando um, guitarra por ocho años, más o menos. Ah. Y ah. yo canto también. Um, llevo cantando por cuatro, cuatro años, más o menos. Wow, ok. ¿Y qué tipo de música? Ah, ah, es como um, el artista uh, John Mayer o sí. Jack Johnson. Sí. Yo escribí canciones, uh, yo, yo escribí canciones de amor. Sí. Uh, ¿En inglés? Uh, ambos. Ah, de hecho, uh, yo escribí una canción en español. Ok, ¿cómo se llama? No sé, no sé um, aún. Ok. No sé okay. aún. Pero uh, voy a yeah. tocar, voy a to tocarlo. Um, después um, la tienda de guitarra. Sí. So voy okay. a tocar eh, esta noche mi uh, canción en español. ¿En dónde? Uh, aquí en mi, en mi Airbnb. En tu Airbnb, o, okay. uh, Y mañana yo creo que um, voy a tocar en la calle. Sí. En el mercado. Uh -huh. Es bueno para mi aprendizaje en español también. Sí. Yo sí, con I meet. Yo conozco. ¿Cómo se dice? I meet. Yo conozco, sí. That's the present. I meet. So yo conozco. All right, next we are on a mission for a beer, and I think I might have found a place. Oh, but it looks like he's just buying it from this window. Now we're gonna find a cantina. La beige. Mm, está riquísimo. Right, just pull out some, stick 
Me gusta mucho. Yo quiero uno pronto. In 600 feet, take a right on Calle del 20 de November. So I found a guitar for about a thousand pesos. So what even is that? 170 bucks, something like that. Uh, but it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. $170 guitar sounded bon appetit nylon string. Um, but here we are. Estamos aquí. Look up there. So I'm on a mission to find a baño. So we'll see what I find. Swing. All right, and I had to try a drink called Tejate. Apparently, it's typical de aquí, Oaxaca. So, this is a typical drink around here. Oh, got all over the beard. Whoa. Oh, buenísimo. Riquísimo. Me gusta mucho. Wow, salud. She added the sweet stuff. Oh my God, that's delicious. It's like hot chocolate, but with like a syrup, maple syrup kind of aftertaste. <coughs> oh, whoa. That's good. Hola a todos, estoy caminando mucho hoy. ¿Por qué? Me encanta esta ciudad. Oh, what the fuck? I've never seen anything like that. What a Me encanta. Pa empezar un mes. Un mezcal. Oh, it's a mezcal tour. 
we won't take my girly on that. And estamos aquí. Oh. What a day, guys. What a fucking day. First day in Oaxaca, and I can say that it has been a complete success so far. And we have seemed to have found the uh, main central park here. Um, I see a lot more tourists here than I've seen all day. Um, oh, I'm hearing French or... I think I heard a little German earlier as well. Take a left on Calle de Dr. Aurelio Valdivuso, then in 350 feet, continue on Calle de Macedonio Alcala. Wow, what she said. Um, but I'm gonna explore around here for a little while. I still got my little drink. And uh, then we are gonna make our way back to the Airbnb and cook up that meat I bought at the Carnicería. And I was able to speak a lot of Spanish today. Habla Espanol mucho. guys there we go first day down and what an experience that was I actually felt really really confident speaking today and there were times I didn't know exactly what to say or if I was saying it right but I knew how to say things like uh, could you say that again or did I say that correctly um, yeah and everything went smoothly I got groceries I got I got drinks, I did all sorts of stuff. Went to the guitar shop, asked questions, are they open tomorrow? How much do these guitars cost? What's the biggest difference between this acoustic and that acoustic? And I think now that I'm here, um, it's giving my brain more of a reason to latch on to the language and want to pick it up more. Because uh, it's survival at that point. Because where I'm at, uh, there isn't too much inglés, so very excited for this trip, guys, and as you saw, it is very beautiful here, and it's just the beginning. That was the first day, so estoy muy emocionado. If you guys want to learn Spanish, feel free to use my link below. I'll get a free month of class if you use that link to sign up, uh, so that would be pretty sweet of you, and uh, que más? Check me out on Spotify if you want to hear my tunes and subscribe and like the or subscribe to the channel and like this video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.